Hi, I'm Suzanne Shaw and I'm going to show you what to do with the leftover beef from a roast. You don't have to put it in a sandwich for the next day's lunch. You can go into your cupboards and find some tins and just make a very quick, easy, tasty dish. Today I'm going to be making a beef and sausage bean hot pot. Being a Lancashire girl, it's our family favourite in our household and it's very easy to make, cheap and tasty. Okay, so what we're going to be using is the beef from the night before, hot beef stock, beef sausages, tinned tomatoes, cannellini beans, tomato puree, that's one tablespoon, Worcestershire sauce, one onion, one celery stick, two carrots, one pepper, a few basil leaves, and in the freezer I've got the Aunt Bessie's dumplings. I've preheated the oven and fan assisted 160 degrees. I'm going to warm up the oil in the pan. Now, with your vegetables, you don't have to cut them all neatly and the same size to give it that rustic feel. Put in the veg now, stir that all in. Before I put the sausages in, I'll let that cook. I'm putting the sausages in half, twist that snippet, add the sausages, mix in all the flavours, and you just got to keep turning the sausages around until they start browning up. So just by chopping the sausages in half, it just makes it go that little bit further. Now to add everything else. The beef from last night. The greatest thing with using the leftover beef is that you can prepare it the night before, so you might as well do all the veg the night before with it. Tin tomatoes and cannellini beans. Things like tomatoes and beans, you're bound to have them in your cupboard and they really do come in handy for a meal like this. Now to add the tomato puree, Worcestershire sauce, which is really nice for a little bit of kick. Now finally, beef stock. Mix it all together. It's almost ready to go into the oven, but we just need to do a little bit of seasoning. A bit of pepper, a bit of salt. Transfer it over to the casserole dish. It smells absolutely amazing all the vegetables coming through and you don't have to necessarily use carrots you can just use any veg you've got in your house so it's really cost effective there's the final bit there so place in the dumplings on top so i've put in the frozen dumplings and they're going to come out so lovely and fluffy and light put it in the oven it's going to take 40 minutes to cook the dish Right, it's all ready. Here we go. Let's get the, one of the dumplings, get the sausages, beef, veg, and then the final touch, basil leaves. And if you do have any wilted leaves that look like they're going a little bit off, take them off, put them in the blender, add a little bit of oil, and then you can freeze them. And that is your sausage, beef, and bean hot pot. See, it's amazing what you can do with some ingredients and some leftovers. By using planned recipes like this, you can make your food and weekly budget go a little bit further, and it tastes amazing. Check out the Aunt Bessie's Facebook page for more ideas on what to do with those leftovers and how to make those pennies go further.